The Garden Route is a place of opportunities and we are pleased to announce the launch of our e-recruitment portal. The e-recruitment portal will allow applicants to easily apply for positions after a once-off online registration. Before you register, make sure you have certified digital copies of the following. Your valid ID document, qualifications, curriculum vitae and driver's license should it be required. Once you have all these in place, you can head on to the link in the bio to start the registration process. It is now time to create an account. On the registration page, click on Create New Account. It is important to fill out all the fields with your correct information, otherwise you will not be able to register. Make sure your email address is both valid and correct. Choose a strong password that contains characters, symbols and numbers. Don't forget to type in the code as well, so we know you're not a robot. Once you have completed all the fields and you are certain the information is correct, you can click on the Submit button. A confirmation email will be sent to you. Please make sure it does not sit in your spam folder. You can now sign in with your email address and password. It's now time to create your profile. Again, make sure you complete all the fields correctly. If you missed something, the system will flag the required fields in pink. You will not be able to proceed unless all the required fields are completed. Now, press Submit. The first section will contain all your personal information. Complete all the fields accurately. In the Languages selection, click on the dialog box to select the languages you are proficient in and press Submit. Now complete the rest of the fields. When compiling your school qualifications, you need not worry about uploading any supporting documents. This will be done at a later stage. We have included an explanation of all the NQF levels which you can view. If a required field does not apply to you, you can simply complete it with the words none or the abbreviation for not applicable. To choose the correct sector which is related to your work experience in the employment history section, click on the dialog box. A page will open listing the different sectors. The last section on this page that needs completion will contain your contactable references. They need to be work related and if you do not have any work experience, you can list your school principal or university lecturer. Once you have completed all the required fields, it is time to press save and review all the information you have entered. You can make changes if you want, but remember to press save again if you do so. Press submit if you are satisfied that all the information is correct. It's now time to upload all your supporting documents. Make sure you have all your certified digital copies together. All documents must be in PDF format, otherwise they cannot be uploaded. First up is your CV. Click on Choose File and navigate to where you have stored the documents on your computer. Select it and press Save before you hit the Submit button. Follow the same steps when uploading your ID document and qualifications. 
click on the dialog box in the qualification section to select the type of qualifications you are about to upload. Remember to save before you submit. Your profile is now complete and you can apply for available vacancies. Click on Current Vacancies to see what is available. Click on the dialog box for the position that you want to apply for and select Apply for Vacancy. Before your application can be submitted, you need to complete all the required fields. Your application will not be disqualified by the system if you do not meet the minimum requirements. Once you have completed all the fields correctly, you will receive a notification informing you that your application was successful. Click on your inbox to view the positions you have applied for. Here you will also be able to see the progress of each vacancy, including final outcomes. Remember that you can update your profile at any given moment and that the changes will reflect in real time. For more information and frequently asked questions, click on the link in the bio.